Okay, so these are my final words of wisdom, and let me apologize for being a little sleepy and saying um quite a lot. doesn't reflect how many speeches I gave last year. I don't say it nearly as much in speeches, but I'm in the middle of my final project and uh, a little stressed, so I'm not at optimum speaking capacity. But the final thing I wanted to give some advice on, and this is especially for people that are going to be in really impoverished or third world countries, um, basically, you're going to find that there are an amazing amount of projects and wonderful initiatives and children's homes and different sorts of groups that you'll be exposed to and that you can get involved in. And the unifying factor is that they all need help, and most often they are understaffed and, and um, don't have sufficient resources. And so as an excited student, as someone from the U.S., you'll be seen as a perfect candidate to get involved, to help fundraise, to help to help out. And hopefully you'll take that to heart and you will get involved. But what I would recommend is that you try and focus your energy on, on one, maybe two places or projects. Uh, because if you're like me, you're going to get excited about everything you see and suddenly you're going to find yourself pulled in a million directions and realize that you're not really having much of an effect other than... Um, you know, providing eyes and ears to people abroad about what's going on on the ground, which is valuable. But if you really want to make a difference, um, it's really best to kind of focus your efforts, find out a specific project you can help on. Um, again, another ambassadorial scholar here shot a video for a local children's home that they're using in fundraising um, because she had a background in video. Um, whether your skills in writing or photography or fundraising, I mean, just figure out where you can make the biggest difference. And I think that you'll find that by the end of your time, you'll feel really good about looking back and, and seeing the impact that you had, rather than simply kind of going from project to project to project and um, not making a significant dent. So I would really encourage you to take that into consideration. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I love talking to new scholars and, and finding out where you're going and what you're doing. My email is meganmacdon at gmail.com, and Bob has it. And if I've left anything out, if there's anything you're struggling with, I can almost guarantee I can at least give you some pointers or direct you to someone to help with. So feel free to let me know. And I really wish you guys all the best. You're in for a wonderful, wonderful experience, and you were clearly chosen for a reason. So maximize what you can do um, on the ground wherever you end up and just be thankful for this incredible opportunity because it's definitely going to change your life. All the best. Bye.